Got it. Okay. Hi, I'm Tina. Hi, I'm Priyanka. And we're Between Two Skates. And welcome back to another episode. <laughs> yes, episode seven now. Yes. Um, the Rhinebeck one. Yes. It's officially the Rhinebeck. Well, the pre Rhinebeck. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Glad everyone's back. If you're new to our page, yeah. we're a fiber friends pod of, of our, our dreams. dreams. Um, hopefully it's yours as well. Yep. I think, yeah, we're trying to fill like a gap, right? Yeah. That we feel, mm -hmm. you know, which is highlighting designers that are maybe underrated that we love mm -hmm. and talk about like what we watch while we're making. Yes. <laughs> yes. The important stuff. All important. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing the Texture Garden cardigan designed by Tina Say. <laughs> I love you it so much. You finished it. I did. This was this was crunch time, and I actually I have a lot a lot I want to say about this. Okay? Go for it. All right. I'm gonna start with the yarn. So I had. A tough time choosing colors, right? Yes. And you had the wild idea of throwing this pink at me, among others. And I, I, I saw it, and I was like, I have to have it. And I know I wrote down the name somewhere, but I forgot. Moondrake. Moondrake, yes. Um, but the, the name of the yarn. MCN. I think it's Merino. Cat oh, the name of the color. Sorry. And it was something fun and yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're going to find it. And I'm gonna <laughs> I saved the... I saved the, the sleeve of mm -hmm. the yarn, so we'll do that. Um, but yeah, you saw this and you gave me this and it just finally clicked for me, like what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I had this in another, this is also something I don't know what it is, but I have a lot of yarn like that. Yeah, <laughs> Stash diving, <laughs> stash busting. But it was trapped in another whip that I just wasn't feeling. So I ripped it out when I went home once I saw this pink and then I've been using this black everywhere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it just seemed to make sense to kind of they pulled it all together close it out this way mm -hmm. so this yarn is actually naturally dyed um and so i did have a problem with it which is that one of the skeins started to fade oh. strangely like when i got them they were all the same dye lot the same everything and i don't know i guess that just happens sometimes mm -hmm. even with regularly dyed yarn right mm -hmm. like I don't know, maybe the way I stored it. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But I I had a lot of fun trying to figure out what to do with it. I, I striped it a little bit. I like I like that striped rib. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I feel like it echoed like this, right? Yeah. Sort of. It looks intentional. I tried. I tried to make it intentional. Yeah. <laughs> it looks it looks intentional. <laughs> so yeah, these are the colors. And I have to thank you. Not only for the pattern, but the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think last episode was when I said take a skein that you really want to use and build around it yeah and i think it you works. found it yeah it works people yeah. listen to tina say <laughs> listen to her advice so color hacking yeah i mean i feel like it turned out very like betsy it. johnson yes <laughs> but like ready to wear it looks like ready to wear yeah. everyone's gonna compliment that where'd you get your sweater yes i um, made it i made it <laughs> she designed it <laughs> no it's perfect yeah. and i think it's, it's exactly what i was trying to do which is kind of like yeah. what you did but you know yeah yeah i love yours i love yours oh thank I you they're like cute together yeah i think my sleeves are a bit more fitted but oh that's okay Quack. that's in the pattern you get to choose your sleeve type like sleeve yeah. tighter looser up to you yeah mine's a little bit more open i don't know how when i went to like so i i I put the stitch marker to kind of like gauge like where the armhole should be. Yep. And when I did that, I was like, oh, this feels kind of like big. Mm -hmm. So like, let me just not make it even more. Mm -hmm. But when I went to pick up stitches, like I just could not get it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what was going on. I think I think that this this pink yarn is actually more DK than it is sport. Okay. And your your project like calls for like a sport and fingering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I think it made it. Although, like, I did kind of get gauge, like, oh, I'll be honest, and not gauge swatch for every type of stitch in this. That's okay. I was lazy. I did I not said, either. Stockinette is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. I got gauge of the yeah, stockinette yeah. for the DK. But I think it makes the 
the row height longer. longer. Okay. And so that's why it felt like there was going to be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could not pick up enough stitches to get the same. Because we made the same size and everything. Yeah. So I was like, oh, the example, like, sleeve stitch count is perfect. Because, mm-hmm. like, that's the one for me. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. And then I was like, I, I can't. I can't get it. <laughs> I can't pick them up. So I just, I, I went back. And mm-hmm. I just did some. Did it to you. I did some, gog, like, crazy math. I don't know if it's right. But it's cute. It works. Yeah. I whatever think, fits you. Yeah. I think even this, like, the second Mm-hmm. You shortened it? Section, yeah, because my sleeves were two different lengths all of a sudden. <laughs> because, and I think that's what it is. It's the... Oh, it's DK. It's causing the it DK to be, is yeah. the row height, even though, like, somehow I managed to... I, I dropped down a needle size, mm-hmm. I think. Or mm-hmm. Maybe a needle size and a half or something. Mm-hmm. And so I got gauge with, like, this way, the stitches. Mm-hmm. So I didn't bother to like do the whole thing either <laughs> and see what was happening. I was yeah, like, yeah. you know, the row, the row gauge is fine. Yeah. Or whatever. So yeah, like, yeah. I'm not gonna deal with the height of the stitches. It's fine. But so if you do go up to DK in this, that's my advice. Okay. It works. You can still pull it. It might off. be less less rows. You might just have less. Yeah, rows to knit. Mm-hmm, you can mm-hmm. still, you can still get away with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, that was yeah. everything I had to say about it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I actually found it really fast to go through the front because, like, the stitches are so interesting and different. So you're like, and and it's achievable goals. It's like playing a video game. You're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I did this level. I'm on to the next one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I always like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you, thank you. I like to design for uh, the, knitting. Uh, the knitting experience. Yeah, yeah. not just the FO. Yeah, the finished object. Something for everyone. Yeah. The process and the product. Yeah. I love it. I also like ran out of yarn here. <laughs> I don't know. How to, no one noticed, maybe, but probably did. But I ran out of this main color. Oh, so you did this. So one. I did the stripe by accident or on purpose, but like because I ran out of yarn. And, but it works because it looks like it's part of it. Yeah. So it's all about stash diving. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's something Using else. Using up scraps. I think that's something else that's great about your patterns is that it's like a recipe you can kind of just go yeah it's not too strict it's not strict it's not strict no yeah i I definitely had more stitches in like the neck somehow (laughs) it's it's fine yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) it's fine everything is fine Mm -hmm. i made it yeah so you made it you made it what are you wearing well i'm wearing a texture garden garden cardigan as well and this is gonna be releasing october 11th so that's a wednesday um and mine is made out of little skein and the big wolf um in both fingering weight and sport weight so again as you said fine to mix and match different types of yarns i have non-super wash in here i have super wash in here everything everything and it turns out fine um and then that's more than fine that's gorgeous fine. thank you yeah and i i mean i picked these colors together Cause I guess I was feeling a purple thing, I and mean, then you got a you got a pink thing going. I think these are like, I mean, these are our colors. These are our colors. <laughs> <laughs> these are just our colors. I was like, I don't want to speak for you, but I'm pretty these, sure that's your favorite color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these, these are our colors. Um, and this one's mine. I mean, yes. I even I was like, I'm going full pink and black. I love it. Go leaning Such in. Such a good outfit. Thank you. Such a good outfit. I tried. I was like, this is kind of giving '90s. Oh yes, let me lean in. A little bit of grunge yeah. with your yeah. jeans, with the jeans. Yeah, I cute, know. so cute. No, I love yours too. Oh, thank you. You're very like relaxed, Gen Z. I'm ready for cozy. my version of fall. Yes, I know people like to pick fall colors for fall, no, but is... I don't think you have to. No, this is totally still fall. <laughs> yes, Purple and hot neon yellow. Yes. Um, this is uh. This Pearl Soho pattern called the Giant Twisted Rib Hat, I think. It's a free pattern on Pearl Soho. And instead of twisting the rib, I just knit it plain because okay. I don't like twisted rib. Yeah, <laughs> so I just took it for the math and the, the stitches and yeah. made my own. Little known fact, she knits through the back loop strangely. Oh, yes. Or I like do. all the time. I've or been, something. Yeah, I've been watching people knit <laughs> pearl. I've been watching people purling in their videos and I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I, I have watched you knit and I, I think this is. Yeah. <laughs> in a 
a good way. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. The braid just I'm like you know what? It still makes the same stitch, which is actually kind of cool. That's what matters. Yeah, that's what matters. It's like it's like a math problem, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. You just got the right answer. Right. But who cares how we got there? It's, it's all fine. That's all good. It's all fine. And then I'm also wearing my Captain Mall food. I gotta make one of these. Too. Yes, that will be coming out yeah. next Friday. Well, October thirteenth. Wow. <laughs> Friday the thirteenth. It'll be coming out. Wait, so do you have? Two patterns coming out in a week. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so Capricorn. Just like, boom, boom. Gotta get it all out uh, for Rhinebeck. Yes. Um, so you will be there. Yeah. Um, this little guy you will see at Fangle Fibers booth at Woolen's Book Festival. So this will be shipped out very soon. Um, and yeah, all Pokemon inspired. You can see the previous episode where I talked a lot about this one, episode six. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, we got everybody in so here. Cozy. coughing and Umbreon and uh, I don't know, lots of other Nidorino, Nidorino. Maybe I got sick of those ones because I could not stop catching them, and I like evolved them twice, and I was like, okay, I'm over it. Can we, <laughs> can we get some new ones? Do you play Pokemon Go still? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I, I still should. play Pokemon Go. I should. I kind of. I don't know. I lost. I, I have phases. I go mm -hmm. in and out of. Yeah. I, I get obsessed and I'm into it, and I leave. So yeah, back, you know. I'm the same. I'm the same. So, but it's good for going on walks. It is it good is. for it catching them really on walks. Good. Yes, I I love doing it. I was there was a time when I would just walk around all the time playing Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, obsessively. Yeah, but I need to make sure I do the Halloween event because I have a, a crap ton of tasks that require ghost types, and I don't have any. Like <laughs> none, none pop up out of them. But for Halloween time, dark types those types come out so i have to make sure i play Ooh. around that time but anyway pokemon oh, obviously very pokemon inspired yeah. but yeah that's what i'm wearing i love it thank I you. love your outfit thank you i love yours i love mine too <laughs> <laughs> look at this yeah, yeah it's, it's so cute i i actually really like it this is very cozy this yarn is like is like butter mm -hmm. i don't even know and i think like the fingering of course yarns are like super soft too it's just i needed like a nice soft cozy project mm -hmm. <laughs> okay let's see what did you make in september what did you finish in september mm, okay i'll start with something that i posted about yay it's the mile road tank so cute i i really love this i saw your version your two color version and i kept threatening to make it yep and i finally did so i was actually supposed to finish this in the last this is actually a true september make i was supposed to finish this for the last episode but you know life yep and illnesses and yep. things like injuries you know yep. happens mm -hmm, it's fine mm -hmm. but we're here yep 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 <laughs> and yeah, I so this the blue is Hawari Bazaar yarn. She's from Michigan. Yeah. And um she was collabing with you for the Crescent Moon shawl, which I was supposed to make. It's okay. It's a known thing I can't it's finish fine. shawls. I can't do it. But I loved this color so much and I just you know, I, when I saw your version I realized like I wanna do something like this. And yeah, so I put this together with another black speckled yarn that i had yeah and it's gorgeous i love it it's, i love it i feel like i'm having like an emo grungy sort of yes like phase but but still like very bright yes. because it's me yes <laughs> and i can't i can't not like, we're elder emos now elder emos so like i still need like a little bit of like fun yeah in it. 90s 90s emo but I mean that's what your your mile road yeah. thing made me think of, and so I feel like I captured the essence. A pop of color, but <laughs> yeah. still dark on the inside. It still, <laughs> yeah, it's still so dark on the inside. I love it. Yeah, so I love this. One. I love your FO photos for them too. So yeah. cute. I found actually that was by a mural that we have taken pictures of. It was just the other side. Oh, <laughs> was it one of the flower ones? Yes, yes, yes the okay. flower ones. Um, we I took for brush of color. Brush of color. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So this is that over there. My Sweet. next fo yes. is going to be. I think you're going to join me on this. I think I am. All right. This was a surprise to you as well. Yes. But it's the 
Let's do this. Let's do this right. Okay. Hi, Ari. Ari. You excited too? Oh, we should go to the fridge. Oh, oh no, did you bring a plate? Oh. Oh. Not too excited. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, can't watch an animal get hurt. Like, oh, I know it's so not that bad, bad, and she's, she's okay, okay with it. She's don't, okay. I don't know why you're why. hiding in here, honey. Oh. She stayed with us. Yeah. yeah. You want to be the pod cat today? Yeah. You want to you want you want to introduce the photos that we just made? Oh, <laughs> she's like, nope, out of here. <laughs> all right. Okay, Bye. all right, all right. Let's all try right. this again. Bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> we we finished our regular. We did. Oh my god. That is a surprise to me because you, I, I thought you've been working on the textured garden forever. I was, and then I finished early slash late because i was supposed to finish last week <laughs> i finished early for this weekend yay and i wanted to i wanted to join you yay <laughs> oh my See, god I like i feel yours. like we're like this is our colors but then like we do this yeah. <laughs> i love that this is the other end of the spectrum yeah this yeah is, yeah i like how the mine has a little bit of blues to match yours yeah. you're just so fluffy and yeah. I, I think this one has like a little yellow that kind of Oh, pick that out a bit. Like you have a little bit of yellow yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was supposed to be like cobalt blue and like chrome. What's the call? What's the word for yellow with like hue? Something like that. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yellow and blue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and well, actually, I don't know. Can I can I call this an FO? I don't have the the icon. No, yet. it's an FO. It's um, an FO. You could wear that out right now yeah, without the draw cord. That is true. It's, and it's very, I, I think they're so different. Yours is yeah. so, I think it's so like crummy to like touch. I don't yeah. know if that's like the word. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Very springy. bouncy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I love touching Yeah, and it. yours was really fluffy. This one's like, like really cozy. Yeah. yeah. And and this one like, oh, kind of almost like hold its shape a little oh, bit. Oh, cool. And I think yours is going to be more It's going to be drapey, drapey yeah, which yeah, I, yeah. I like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's going to look so nice. So yeah. look out for some FO picks. Yes. Bam. Bam. <laughs> the regular hoodie by Kiyomi Bergen. Yes. In the cosmology cosmology collection from Amuse. Am Amuse. Uh, no, we'll just write it. The magazine. Yes. The that Japanese one. knitting magazine. Yes. Yeah. So this one, I use the yarn that they tell you to and the pattern the suggested yarn yes. and the, uh, the yep. yarn they use in the sample as well yes it's the daruma geek yep. yarn yep and it's like a bulky it's supposed to be so from what i read about it it's supposed to kind of like almost like change as it wears Ooh. in that like if it stretches like you the yellow will come out more because it's oh. meant to be it's apparently they made it like with these two kind of mixed together yeah. somehow. I don't know the technical terms. I tried, you guys. They're like iridescent? <laughs> Is that the right word? Color changing? I, I, I don't know. Huh. I, I think it's more like if as the yarn like stretches and wears, it's going to kind of come through Ooh, more pretty. And, and have more. I, that's my understanding of it. I might be totally wrong. But can I just say also, I think it's so cool that they mixed two like different like like i feel like the shape mm -hmm. is very like masculine sort of like you know it could be like streetwear yeah 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 and then the lace makes it like elevated because it's it's a little more like feminine yeah and, like, sweet you know yeah and i normally really suck at lace but i got into this yeah this pattern was the the lace pattern was very easy to memorize i didn't have to look at the graph again that's right yeah, yeah. i did not you you read it once and yeah then but it's four rows yeah so like once you get the hang of it mm -hmm. it makes sense I, I i struggled a little bit with the hood because i did not understand how to turn around which is that's a me problem but oh <laughs> you know because like I when, gotcha. when, once you get the reinforced like neck band mm -hmm. or whatever she has you like cast on and turn around. yep 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 and i i definitely did some really not correct things like I tried to follow the instructions, I messed up, and I was just like, I'm just gonna hack it somehow. So like I ended up sewing it down weirdly. Oh, um, I see. 
Yeah, so like you're, you know, where you have that one stitch from yeah. the middle and then you cast on five yeah. between it? Right here? Right there, yeah. I don't know how I did something weird oh. and I ended up with an extra stitch. And so I just did. I gotcha. But besides that, for yeah. me, because I'm dumb, everything else is well, I also so made easy. kind of a boo boo. Oh no. So I was supposed to switch to smaller needles and I didn't. For which? For the reinforcement. Oh. And it got, it looks a little too big in my opinion, I but see. I was too lazy to find a second set of needles, so it worked out. No, I don't it think you out. can see it. Yeah. I think for the most part when you're wearing it, yeah. the hood will will lay over. Oh, like yeah, this, yeah, true, and true. And you're just not going to see it. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. That's usually what I think about with most things. I'm like, is anybody else going to see it? Yeah, no, probably not. I don't care. Yeah. Moving on. No, that's true. <laughs> I really like the hood construction. Yes. I thought that was really fun. That was clever. I've never made a hood before. I have one, mm -hmm. and it was not this fun. It oh, was, yeah. It was kind of a pain. Oh. like They have you sort of graph the top of the hood together, oh. and, it, and it's just so unnecessary because, like, look at this. Like, yeah. You can just, this was, the construction was very, like, this is so much better. Intuitive, I guess. You yeah. Could say. I've made one before, and I wasn't crazy about that mm. hood. And I, I also thought that hood was too big for me but this one is just right mm. when i was making it i was a bit concerned that this would be too big too because mm -hmm. i have a weird head <laughs> <laughs> like i don't think it's small mm -hmm. but somehow like things like hoods and hats it's a bit that's what's gonna happen <laughs> oh okay okay in terms of measurements <laughs> yes but this works out really well i really like it i would i would say i would highly recommend oh uh, yeah i would recommend you this, make this one well. it's I mean, for me, this was a real like mood booster because like yeah. I finished it reasonably fast. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't call it an instant gratification, but certainly more <laughs> instant than mm -hmm. certainly faster than like a fingering yeah. weight, you know, like yeah. or something like this, which like I love. But it's it's a labor of love. You yeah, have to yeah, spend yeah. some time on yeah. it, which I love spending. Yeah. But, but if you're in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are made in panels that you sewed up later. So actually, it kind of was instant gratification as you finish, like, a panel after the other. Yeah. And it went pretty quickly. You're right. In that way, it, it was kind of like a crochet. Yeah. You know, doing, like, squares. And you get to be like, and this is done. And yep. This is done. The sleeve went by really fast. Yep. I actually was like, I don't know about this sleeve. It's really short. Like, mm -hmm. this seems like I have like short arms but but it's fine yeah i trust the pattern that's yeah. what i needed to learn <laughs> yeah trust the pattern yeah 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 I love and it. uh did i say what yarn i use no oh i use supernova dye works they're bulky weight in the aggressive optimism, optimism colorway because why not and i don't have anything this green no, it's in my closet. It anywhere. works so much with right now. Yeah, I know. It works so well. I could wear this whole outfit right now. Yes, the second. I you want to change. <laughs> no, it's okay. But I'm yeah, super cute. Yeah, I think this is. This I can't is wait to wear this at Ryan back with you. Yes, the uh, I need I need the the I cord drawstring. Yes. Yep, that's the only thing I have left. You can even do that on the on the bus or on the plane, right? <laughs> I know. I'll finish before then, I promise. I, I, I do like to fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish this up. But yeah, I love I love this. We finished it at the same time. Yes. I can't believe that. I finished something in time for once. Well, you usually when we do um pals together that aren't like my patterns, you're usually way faster than me. I don't know about that. No, usually no. well but somehow usually. i don't I, the thing is executing the finish for me is something <laughs> will happen and I'm like, oh god i can't oh, no, you're gonna oh one more <gasps> Woo! brand new design bittersweet <laughs> raglan tea oh i love it in in the uh, yarn from who made in their made pop linen which is like a cotton linen blend it's actually really soft for linen. It's very yarn. soft for linen. I think the cotton helps. Yeah. A little bit. Like, but I like. I love. I've never really knit with cotton linen. How did you find it? I thought it was fine. I thought this actually filled in really well. Really well. Um, it didn't like 
I think I hear knitters say like knitting linen and cotton hurts their hurts hand. their hands, but this didn't do anything for me. Okay. Uh, to me, I guess. Um, pretty soft. I think it's yeah. like it has less like elasticity than like wool. Yeah. So sometimes, but you, I think, already knit very tight. I so do you knit might very not tight. Actually... Yeah. Be interesting to see how I handle this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Because we'll I'm going to make one. Yay! <laughs> yes. I love it. Um, I love the colors you picked. Yes, yes, yes. And you're going to make one. I'm going to make one. You're going to make one. So here, let me show everybody the yarn. Again in my green era. You are in your green era. Again, green and orange. So you got these colors as well. Yay, yes. After this one, we can blue. Yeah. Do you want? To, should we take like a video, like with it closer? Yeah. Later? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So these are the colors. Yep. That you got. Yeah. Along with these two. Yep. And you suggested I make one, which I I do want to make one. Yes. Actually, I'm not looking at it. Oh. 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 Yes. Or even these two. Those two are nice too. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> We will <laughs> try to figure it out. So yeah, I love this top. I, I love everything you it. make. I, I feel you. like I say that every single time, and people are like, "Of course you do," and it's like, <laughs> actually, I but don't it's say that very easily. No, <laughs> and no, it is true. <laughs> but it's true yeah. because then you end up making them. Yeah, and That's you how wouldn't you know waste. It's real. Yeah, yeah. Labor of love. Knitting stuff is making stuff. It takes a long time. It sure does. Yes. Trust me, this mm -hmm. leave, this leave really almost ended me. Oh no! But it's okay. Because <laughs> I was like, I thought it was gonna go faster. Oh, because it's like smaller. It's, it's the three color, um, the, the uh, slip stitch socks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just kept getting so tangled up because I was in a hurry. Oh, like... I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It is a lot of purling in the round. Anyway, let's yeah, get back yeah. to you. Yeah. And this one. Yes, yes. So this is with this is a collab with who made? Yes. Is she gonna be at? Uh... She will be at Wool Folk. <laughs> Wool Folk, yes, festival. Okay. So we also um, our brush of color. That's also that's fun. also uh, yarn the watercolor cotton by Who Made. Yeah. So you'll see that sample in the booth. So. Wow, you are you packing know, a lot. I'm packing trip. a lot. You're I'm doing really, everything. I'm doing everything. Yeah. All the things. I just love collaborating with cool people. Yeah. And uh, they love working with me, and I love supporting them. So yeah, go check them out if you're gonna be there. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pattern writing is in session. I have not put out a test knitting call yet, but yeah, it'll come out maybe later this year or early next year. It's let me guess, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a garter row or whatever, like pearl. Mm -hmm. Then. Stocking it, mm -hmm. and then you slip the, you slip the stitch over the pearl row. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Get an idea. Yeah. I've done enough of these now that I'm slowly. Yeah. I can kind you, you, of... you know my mo. I guess. It's my mo now. It's my slip stitches. <laughs> it's my textures. I love it. You did a I folded do love... hem as well. Though. I did. That's. I think. I was very sick. inspired by um how much how clean the jeepers jersey was. Oh yeah. So I was like, oh, you know what? That's actually really clean it's so a nice I decided to give it a try yeah I like it too yeah I think it even has like a nice like you know um that's what I kind of did with this one where I decided I liked how like the long tail cast on had like a lot like it, it gives you like a line yep that's what I I kind of decided that I wanted that for this because oh. I don't have to worry about it fitting over my butt. oh I see <laughs> I see I did the cable oh but this is Oh, it's a little stretchy. This yeah, I did. What bad. did I do? The ca alternating, alternating cable, cable cast on. Yeah. Yep. 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 You yep. know why I like doing that is then I don't have to measure how much of the tail I need. You can just go. Do yeah. It. I know. Because I I literally am so bad at that. I always have to frog at least two times to do it correctly because yeah. I always run out of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I do? I always do like I do the wine ten times and do the count, whatever, and mm -hmm. all of that, and I do like like an extra one or two. And then I'm like, fine, if it was longer, oh, I'll deal with it. Okay, okay. But like, yeah, that's what oh. I, but I, I'm very weird about it. Like, I, I want to know. Yeah, but you know your system, I guess. I think I don't have a system. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, you have this I'm cast just like, on. The ah, cast on it looks your, good. The, the cast on is yeah. your system. Yeah. It looks, I mean, this, look, this cast on looks good with Riv, but mm -hmm. 
in terms of this, I think I did a long tail for this, which is why I have so much extra. But I did do it like two times to get it correctly. <laughs> I actually find long tail like the easiest one. It is an easy to cast on, but it's just the measuring of how much to cast on. That's true. Yeah. I think I think you'll find knitters that agree with both. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, they yeah. love it. And yeah. then they also hate measuring. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting the measurement correctly. It's one of those things. Well, and then sometimes I get to the end and I'm like, does it matter if it doesn't look perfect? So then I just do like a wrap around cast on. <laughs> but then you can tell. You can definitely tell. But sometimes yeah. I care, sometimes I don't. It depends. Yeah. It is what it is. Yep, yep, yep. The fate of that project. Yep. That's all my FOs. I love it. I love this one. I love all of yours. Thank you. I'm excited for this one. Thank it's you, gonna be you. a really nice like summer mm -hmm. top. It's just mm -hmm winter now yeah. oh, it's good for layering too maybe <laughs> or you know what people do live on the southern hemisphere so it's yes. summer for them now yep let's be inclusive yep 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 of all climates <laughs> yes <laughs> so it's perfect thank you thank you and i like the two tone yes like, I, I have really been feeling that i, I think you know this yes of our conversation yes. so i'm always like i want to do two two <laughs> Flip it. And you did it. Twist it and reverse it. Twist it and reverse it. Yeah, flip it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 90s kids. Yeah. So, all right. So that's all my FOs. That's all your FOs. Yay. So then we move on to our next segment. Yes. So my whip is this. Um, oh, which yeah. way is the right side? This I have super. that one too. My whip is the top that I'm working on with you again. Yes. Because that's all I do is make the same thing as you. <laughs> same but different. Yes, exactly. <laughs> same character, different font. Exactly. <laughs> you know. I know. That's my that's my jam. Because I yes. want to be like same but different. Same, same but different. Mm -hmm. So this is a jebel button up yep. top. Yep. And I decided to stripe it. I think from the last time we saw this, I have added one more stripe. That one, yep. Mm -hmm. And I did some of the neck shaping mm. started out. So probably gonna I mean this actually does not take a long time. No, I think once you get in the groove. Once you figure it out yeah. and you get the rhythm, it's it's really fun. Mm -hmm. I just have not had a second to sit down on it because you have a lot I've to do making, for Rhinebeck. Yeah. I get to catch up on this one which like of course you pick like a doozy. <laughs> of a project it's very involved i love it very involved it's just i was like oh my god i have no time <laughs> <laughs> so now i have time so i'm gonna whoop that's okay it's fine it's just crochet i need to put the stitch marker like you said but for yes. now what i do is i make a long loop and i leave it yep 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 um but yeah that's the back yes. yours. and i have the it. front that's also blocked in the wandering flock yarn in their yeah. sunset in brooklyn colorway oh my god look at this and i decided to kind of join their flock along oh that's clever. um make along because i just realized i'm making this all out of their yarn so i was I like mean, you know what why not it qualifies qualifies oh that's so cute yeah i love this i love you did the button band oh yeah so i I love yours. I will jump to it a little bit since it's already here, but I got these two buttons at um, a quilt shop in Alaska because I just went on vacation in Alaska exactly a month ago and I was just wanted to see if it actually looked good on this and uh, it did. It, it turned out pretty awesome and I was like, I think the pattern asked for like six buttons, but I only had five. Mm -hmm. So I spaced them out accordingly. And then I did the buttonholes accordingly and uh, it worked oh. out. So what is that? Is that like just a skip and then you skip that? Skip three and then chain, chain three. Chain three. Yep. Yep. That's clever. Yeah. I like it. Never crocheted buttonholes before. So this was another new for me. A lot easier than that. Well, yeah. And it's the same. It's just a yarn over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm enjoying this project. I haven't touched my, I haven't knit the back. I just love how the color has come. I mean, yeah, crochet in that. Yep. And how yep. this looks now that you've like blocked it. Yeah. Because like 
I, it stretches out a lot. Look at this. I was like, this is a napkin. It's not even going to be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'll expand a lot. Yeah. Once I, once I block it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice. Yes. And I, I'm actually going to have a lot. I'm realizing now a lot left over mm -hmm. of the mini skein. Oh, yeah. That I'm using to stripe. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking I'd make a smaller cut them all. <gasps> Yeah. Maybe with the leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have yeah. a few other leftovers. Yeah. And they, and they all just go together. Yeah. So this is my whip. Devil top. Yay. Okay. That's all I got so far And this today. is my whip. Your devil top. My devil top. And I actually have one more. You have one more whip? I do. But I haven't shown you. Um. <laughs> I should have kept. I should have kept the regular to surprise. I just couldn't take it anymore. That's okay. I, oh my god. So in my little, in my cute little yarn and whiskey project bag, which I love because of the print. I do love the print. It's a giant bag. I love it. It's really cool. This is a project that I kind of been keeping secret <gasps> because it's for a photo shoot with the photographer that we had, Tara T Tara. Photography. Yeah. But she's doing a series of um, photo shoots with like two things put together. And the one that I'm doing with her is called Buttons and Strings. And I was like, this seems relevant. Yes. So she came up with the color palette. Whoa. But... <gasps> oh my God. It's it's the, what is this? This Is, is this the Grandma's Medley? It's no, like it. it's like it, but it's intarsia knitting with different this. textures Sorry, i totally grabbed your boob no that's okay <laughs> oh, i just wanted to touch the yarn just just, grow. just, just... <laughs> okay so i wasn't going crazy i was like what is this i know this <laughs> yes wow. so obviously i am obsessed with color blocks and color work in general yes, so i'm doing this. an intarsia project it's like primary colors yeah i love it yeah different so, textures for different colors what is it going to be? Is it going to be a cardigan? Or it's going to be a pullover cowl neck turtle. I, I want to say cowl neck because I don't want it too close to my neck like a turtleneck. So a little bit more open, but it will have a big, nice, chunky nice. collar to it. Cool. But yeah. And what yarn is this? This is like tweedy. This is uh, Rowan's felted tweed yarn. Ooh, Rowan. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Where did I get this off of? I think it was either Knit Picks or Lovecrafts. One of those two. Um, I wanted something that wasn't too expensive because I wasn't sure how much yarn I would need. It's kind of going to be like a dress length. Oh, like a tunic almost? Yeah, so that I'm going to like tuck it in the front so it kind of drapes in the back yeah. of my pants. Yeah. And the pants I got was actually from Shiny by Nature. Oh, you got the pants from? I got a pair of green jeans. Oh, I've seen High-waisted jeans yes. to go with this. Oh my God, it's going to look photo shoot. so good. Yes, it's going to look so good. Yes. I should have worn my jeans today That's from okay. her. I, I, I'm obsessed with her stuff. They look like they fit like a dream. They do. Yeah. Have you received it yet? I haven't received it yet. Okay. I'll let you know how they fit. You should try yeah, yeah, yeah. and tell me. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'll just talk about it here yeah. a little bit. But so I, I didn't understand it until I bought the jeans that like most jeans, like from any like regular whatever Retailer. you can go buy mm -hmm. right now, they don't like it's not gonna fit somebody like me because i have like a 10 to 12 inch like difference between my waist and my the widest part of my hip mm -hmm. and i just so that problem that you have right when you go to buy jeans yep. which is that it, if you can pull it over your butt it's gonna gape at the waist but if it fits at the waist it's not gonna go over your butt i had that problem like forever even these ones right now i actually borrowed a belt <laughs> Oh, because <laughs> they fit over your hips, but not but your not waist. over my waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found her, and it's so ingenious. I mean, I'm not trying to like, you know, disclose her trade secrets or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's an elastic waistband. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not all the way through. Right. But that's it. That's mm -hmm. all somebody had to do. Yeah. To make the jeans fit me. Yeah. And they fit really good. Yeah. I, I mean, you've seen me wear them. Yep. They like, look fantastic everywhere. Yeah. But they really look really good on you. I think it's more that I'm comfortable in them. That's true too. I'm always uncomfortable in mm. jeans, and I was like, I hate wearing jeans. I'm not a jeans person. And mm -hmm. then I bought these. Like I saw them online. I found her like I don't know how through reels, and she was just going on about her jeans, and I was like, I don't know if I should believe this. Mm. Like you know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. I don't understand how this is gonna work mm -hmm. when nothing else has. Right, like, right, right. How is right. this one person gonna? 
But I was like, okay, she has like basically the same measurements like at the waist and hip as me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me try it. Mm-hmm. So I did, and and it <laughs> works. So yeah. I hope they work for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't have as big of a ratio as you do. Yeah. I think my waist is getting like actually my butt's getting bigger now. Nice. But I don't know <laughs> if that's a good thing or bad. Thing, that is. But a good now thing. it's just everything's all. All my measurements are different now, but um, yeah. That's that's my latest whip. This I is what I've been the, working on. I have the most. I have looked at the green like jeans there, mm-hmm. and then the, she has a hot pink one. Yes, too, yes, seen? I saw that one. Oh my god! And I always go like, no, it's too much. You're not this crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think but, it'll look great with this. With outfit. this one, I should fan. get the hot pink pants. Yeah, they are on sale. I don't know if they were. I don't know if they still are, but they were. She does a lot of. Yeah, that's the good thing. Also, I feel yes. like people talk accessibility a lot yeah i don't know how she does it yeah but she does somehow. yes yeah and i think that's because she's small that she's yeah. able to yeah, yeah, do yeah. these things mm-hmm. you just have to want to that's what it yeah i think that's what, what it goes to show is that mm-hmm. you have to want to mm-hmm. and it was really funny i was in chicago and i was i wore like her gingham dress which like i think i look like you know a picnic table <laughs> <laughs> a picnic basket in it. I think it's just the gingham is a lot for me. Okay, I'm not used okay. To it. All over print. It's cute, but it's a lot. Mm-hmm. But I remember as I was walking across the street, and her like signature thing on the denim is and like shirts and stuff is like a heart shape. Oh, okay. Like motif, mm-hmm. a pocket or something. Mm-hmm. And this girl, like a bigger girl like me, mm-hmm. was like walking across the street in like the overall dress. I think. Mm. Which also, I wanted to buy, but I was too. I don't know if I can. Mm. And she was wearing it, and I was like, ah. <laughs> so we were like crossing the street at the same time. Oh, you know, like, so. did she recognize your dress too? I don't know if she did, oh, but okay. I recognized hers, and I was like, okay, so like, you know, I think it can be worn. You can wear it, and, you know, I can try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I often, I think you know this too. Like we get inspired watching other people how they dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of like, course, yeah. How it looks and like the styling of it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you'll get there. Yeah, if you want it. Well, anyway, sorry, I got confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so excited about the jeans. I mean, I mean, it's pretty exciting. I can't <laughs> wear for the. I can't wait for them to come in so I can wear those. I'm excited. Yeah, too. and I realized that I have green sneakers now too that I can wear it with. So I'm you like, are just this is this, your green. Yeah, and I have this regular now. Yeah, green. green. That might be too much to wear. I might look like a elf. No. no. I think Maybe I'll be a gnome for Halloween. Just kidding. <laughs> I love it. A I'm, forest nymph. Now I'm just holding your green, like yeah. picturing it. This you pick some nice colors. You you do, yes. Well, you do too. Well, yeah. Look but at your pink. I'm, I'm appreciating you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I. Love That's it. what friends are for. Exactly. <laughs> no, I love this. I love this whole green era. Yeah, I know. Tina say so green. unexpected. It's so fun. Yeah. And like you're going in such a different direction with it too, mm-hmm. like. I feel like people that do green that I see, like, in the knitting, it's very, like, it's, like, that goopy, like, trendy green, which is, like, the sage or, like, an earthy, muted oh, sort of, I like, see. those are the greens that are, like, popular mm-hmm. color-wise. Mm-hmm. Nobody, like, goes doing for that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I don't know why, because yeah, it looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got I got to thank, like, Dana from Super... Uh, supernova dye works for making this color because i, I, need to I don't think that. i would have picked this color if i didn't see this in person yeah i saw this at have you any wool in berkeley michigan the yarn shop yes, yes. so supernova dye works was having a trunk show there oh. and i've met dana before. I, no i've not met dana that was my first time physically in real life meeting her but i talked to her before because she's a michigan dyer as well Ooh. is it called? fine no my but, um, was- but yeah, mm-hmm. this is so great. I know I keep coming back to it. I'm so sorry. It's a good color. It's a great. Color. I love. I love those. I can't color. wait for your green, green. Uh, okay, Ari, this is your spot. <laughs> She's like, that's my spot. Now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going now to Alaska. Yeah, so I could finally talk about my trip to Alaska and Seattle. Um, we took a cruise out of Seattle to three stops in Alaska. And of course, during this trip, I was not looking for yarn stores, but my husband points across the street while we're in Skagway, Alaska and goes, 
isn't that a yarn shop? And he opened the door. So it's, I blame him. So uh, I ended up finding two more yarn shops in, oh, sorry, two, so two yarn shops in Alaska. And then one while, two also while walking around, I'm like, how many numbers am I? <laughs> so four yarn shops, two in Alaska, two in Seattle. So many. <laughs> so many, surprisingly, so many. But um, yeah, uh, it was a great trip. Alaska is beautiful. I would definitely go there again. Um, we did see some northern lights while on the boat, which was unexpected. I saw the pictures. Very cool. Yes. You should put some up. I'll put that. some up in here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a really good trip. Um, I obviously, when I travel, get some kind of making related souvenirs for people and myself, of oh, course. Okay. But at at uh, Skagway, Alaska, which is where I went to the quilt store, I went to the yarn shop over there called Aurora Yarns of Alaska. And is this are these the yep. sisters? But not these twins. are the sisters. So I got Priyanka a skein, and this skein is gonna be well. My husband picked this skein, and he wants a pair of socks. So I'll be knitting a pair of socks. Ooh, but um cashmere and silk yes. socks. I mean that's very bougie. Yes. This one in particular, so the owner of the yarn shop and their daughter is an artist. Oh, um Stephanie right. Ryan. Let's see. And Let's these colors that. are dyed from the colors in her artwork in her paintings. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see the paintings. Yes. Because like these are all easily all of my favorite yes. colors, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you for getting me a souvenir skein. You always do that, and I, I love it yes. so much. We do it for each other. That's true. Yeah. I, I learned it from you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. And then another skein. This is Ooh. this is expensive as hell. This is a but, skein. Um, I have my husband said I could treat myself, so I did. This of is 50% quiviet. So it's this, I want to say it looks like a buffalo or a bison. Put a picture on here. Yeah. Google images. I'll, I'll Google image it for you guys. <laughs> but um, it's very hard to, I don't want to say harvest, but uh, what's the right word? To for brush. Uh, to, to get the To yarn. get the fibers for this. Um, but Woo! it's, yeah. I and this is, price and this is 50%. <laughs> This isn't even the 100%. The 100% was so soft. Oh my god. And they had it in their store, but what it's very limited quantity. I I don't know yet. Oh my god. Probably a hat. Ooh, I feel like this shouldn't be mixed with anything. Yes. I feel like it needs to be like on its own. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. So, the only other suggestion I had was for the the little neck thing that your mom's asking for oh, you to design yeah, yeah, that yeah. you haven't thought of yet. Yeah, well, no, this is for me. This is for you. <laughs> she was she was there when I bought this. And she was like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. And, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of yes. for, for this much yarn. Yes. I'm going to look at it again to be sure. Yeah, yeah. wow. It really is $100. <laughs> yep. It really is. This is called my vacation treat. Oh, my God. This is stunning, though. Yeah, it's really I wish, soft. I wish people could touch it. Yeah. It's so soft. I thought it was crazy that people make yarn out of like I've seen like mink and like like lynx fur, mm. which is like the cat. cat. Uh huh. And I was like, or like camel. Yeah. Like, I thought that was crazy. This but is. But what is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's obviously doable. I mean, I obviously don't know the process in terms of how to make the yarn, but and somebody yeah. dyed it in your favorite colors. I know. That's perfect. This is you this is to. elder emo for me. You it was meant to this be. This would be a great hack. You were supposed to get it. Yeah. Ooh, what about um a fresh start out in that? <gasps> you just blew my mind. <laughs> a fresh start toque is actually gonna be on my website this winter because Ooh. the rights of the pattern will be reverted back to me by then. So you're right. I could write where I could make a fresh start toque. Oh my go. god, you just blew my mind. My mind's blown. I do that. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, you do that. And from the same yarn shop, I got you the other one too. Oh, yes, my other wonderful skein that you got me, which I'm very excited for. Yes, is this Look at really that. beautiful? It's called I don't know when to say it wrong. Congas fog. That's the color rate, right? Yep. This is so pretty. I, I have too many things in my hand. Hold on, sorry. This is so pretty. Let me hold it up. Oh, I'm so spoiled by you. It's. Oh, Look at that yardage. That's what the, got me too. This is like what five hundred yards. Where is it written? I can't Somewhere find it. Somewhere in there. Yep, there it is. There it is. 
Will not belt. So this is five hundred and fifty yards. Yeah, five fifty yards. So this is this is gonna be something really special. Yeah, maybe. Yep. I, I don't want to say what, just in case I don't pull it off. But if I do, we'll see what you do. <laughs> we'll see. It's we'll gonna see what be you great. Do. But yeah, Yay. this is gonna be my not so secret secret project if if it ever happens, and I will share it. But yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm really excited. I'm feeling very confident. I finished two projects in the last forty eight hours. That's somehow yeah. <laughs> somehow means no sleep. <laughs> so I feel very I love this. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I feel like you get me such beautiful presents and, and then I get you like <laughs> no, that's not true. You get, she gets me yarn as well. She's just, you know, self deprecating at the moment. That's true. You get me yarn too. You got me yarn from Utah. You've got me yarn from somewhere else that I can't remember right now. We but should do like me. a yarn around the world one day. Yeah. Like our yarn from around the world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I love this. And this like, this is like your favorite colors, but like I'm really feeling this one yeah. now. And it has like the gray and the blue. I really like it. It's going to be, it's going to be really pretty. Yay. Yes. So this is my other present. And then you got me a third present. Yes, which is also from the same shop because I guess I just couldn't. You know, for some reason, I went to the shop and I thought I wouldn't find another yarn stop sh shop. And no. then I just got all the things. That's how it's going to be. I mean, Yay. and they're perfect. This, like, makes me think of Hawaii, which is wild because you got it from Alaska. I know. <laughs> so, but here, Yay, let's try I to, got... here, I'll let you show it. F, these are F, F hooks. They're so cute. F crochet hooks. Just little, little flower motifs. I think it's resin. I don't know what, clay, resin, clay. I don't know. It's really pretty. But I also don't know the maker of it, but they were at that yarn shop and. No, I love it. We need, you know what, maybe this is, this is the hook for that project yes secret not so secret project project yes i have too many secrets <laughs> coming on what else would you like to i want to hear more oh, about alaska more yes. alaska what okay let's see what else well mountains for sure uh lots of mountains we weren't able to go on the glacier excursion unfortunately because it was too windy mm -hmm. and they would have had to take us up we would have been taken up on a, a helicopter which would not have been good if it was too windy so we didn't do that which is fine um but uh we saw a lot of salmon uh swimming up river which is an experience to watch that happen oh yeah i have you seen it before it they go against the current i've heard that yeah that's crazy it's, it is very crazy it's like they make yeah it's very interesting very interesting it's like very self-sacrifice i want to say it's like really sad almost it's just like playing life on hard mode yeah, yeah. pretty much i was like wow like this is i tend to do yeah I your salmon make things yeah difficult. yeah yeah <laughs> why guys you could have just gone in a circle maybe. yeah no. yeah no just go against just the current upstream. make it the hardest yep 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 that was interesting to watch and they're also delicious and um, they are also sorry delicious. salmon the sorry they salmon taste really good <laughs> <laughs> sushi <laughs> exactly um what else uh did you see bears we did not see bears although they did give us plenty of warnings about bears there was in skagway they had pamphlets sick from the national parks that say how to identify a black bear versus a brown bear apparently how you act between the two are also different. If you see a brown bear versus a black bear, you have to act differently. Some say you play dead, some say you don't play dead. Like, so very interesting stuff. My problem with like bears is they look so cute. <laughs> oh man, but they're like, so deadly. It's like that, the, I don't know, thing where like, if not friend, why I look like friend? Yeah, no, no. They will kill you. Yeah, they will kill you. <laughs> they will destroy you, actually, um, is what it seemed. Um, that was Skagway. Then we went to Juneau, which is the capital of Alaska. The town, the area we were in is, was very touristy, mm -hmm. like very cruise oriented. Apparently, a lot of those shops are owned by cruise companies instead of the natives that live there. So that's something to keep in mind if you're visiting. We made sure to try our best to shop from the people who actually live in those towns. I feel like yarn stores or fabric stores actually a great way to do that, right? Yeah. Because like your average like cruise store, 
it's not gonna occur to like a cruise line to put up a yarn shop no <laughs> exactly exactly that makes sense actually yes so, yes yes you did it yes i did it uh, in juno i didn't visit a yarn store though because it was closed or it looked closed okay the lights weren't on but juno actually has a very high filipino community population there wow and we my mom and i got to have filipino food while we were there uh while my husband and my dad went to salmon fish yeah I remember they went fishing they yes they didn't catch much my, my husband caught a chub salmon and apparently chub isn't a type that you can eat so he had to release it and then my dad caught a rockfish I'll make sure to insert pictures here. Mm -hmm. My dad caught a rockfish, and that was exciting for him, but also had to toss back in. But um, yeah, <laughs> what we did notice that was that the water levels, the tide as the day went on, like really Rise. fills, really rises. So like there was a beach that um, my dad and my husband were fishing at, and by the time they left and we were leaving the port, it was completely covered with water wow so i was like whoa you really have to watch yourself yeah over there that's but crazy. yeah so that's juno and then we went to ketchikan which is where we went to the second yarn store and that was oh no i forgot what it was called oh oh there's more yarn there's more yarn i'm very excited for this i um i'm actually gonna try to knit a little bit yeah yeah yeah, like yeah. I'm all up in your grill. No, 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 you're you. good. Um, this was from the yarn store in Ketchikan, which I cannot remember right now. But the yarn I got is called Robin's, Robin's Nest. Nest. And they're hand dyed by their the yarn store's former partner. Mm -hmm. um, and they're inspired by Alaskan travels and life in Alaska. So cool. Yeah. So I, I got these problem. pairs. These pairs. That's a really, those are really pretty colors. Too. Alaska. I like Ketchikan because there's a lot of small shops. Um, not very touristy. There was a lot of salmon. You could smell them, Ooh. especially the ones that died oh, because they couldn't swim up and they just hit the rocks. And then, yeah, very sad to see, um, especially when the water is like really low and they can't swim up. They yeah. have to wait because there's a lot of like they swim up waterfalls. Crazy. isn't it they have to wait until the water levels go up in order to go up again wow. and they just wait there they, they just wait and they just keep swimming waiting in the same position and i'm like wow, wow. that's just like takes uh persistence to a whole nother level metaphor for life yeah just wait till the water rises again wait until the water rises again and then last but not least seattle so Ooh. also was not expecting to visit any yarn stores in Seattle. I was like, we're not gonna have time. It's fine. I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Bainbridge Island, which you had to take a ferry from Seattle over to. What's over there? Uh, there's two yarn stops over there. Um, oh. One's called the Lamb and the Kid, mm -hmm. and the other one's um, La Marseille, I think. Shop by La Marseille. They're the one who hosted Flock Festival. Oh, the first La, La time. Marserie. Yeah, sorry. Yes, it's, yes. It's, uh, yeah, I pronounced oh, it wrong. I, I yeah. didn't even make the connection. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I pronounced or I would it wrong. Have helped you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're over there, okay. and they're right off the ferry stop. So, like, you got off if you got off the ferry, you, you could have just no Seattle. Oh, Seattle, Seattle Washington. Yes. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Washington State. Um, okay. But you had to take a ferry over from Seattle to Bainbridge Island because they're on Bainbridge Island. That's so and cool. And I wanted to go, but we didn't have time. Hmm. But we were at Pike. Pike Public Pike Pike Public Market. Oh yes, yes. And the yarn. There's a yarn stand in there. Wow. Called um, MJ Yarns. Okay. And that's where I got this pretty skein of blue. So obviously there's been a theme here mm -hmm. on vacation. Is Jubilee. all these blue colors? Oh, this colors is Jubilee. Silk Paca. Wow. Feel it. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. Yeah. It's very soft. Yes. It's yes. like. Look at these colors. I mean, it's alpaca and silk. Yes. So you know how that feels. Yes. <laughs> really good. Alpaca and silk. So what's this going to be? Do you know? Uh, No, I think what I'm going to do is take these four colors oh, and make oh. a sweater out of it. Oh, oh. So oh. this last color was from a yarn store inside a little bit off of Pike Public Market. Um, 
up the street a little bit. I'm trying to, uh, I think it's called So Much Yarn. I think the yarn store is called So Much Yarn. And they have some Alaskan, not Alaskan, sorry, Seattle, Washington state based mm-hmm. dyers there. And this one's from Jadawu Designs. Yeah. Yep. Jadawu. 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 I don't know. Design. That's how I would And this colorway is called Mixed Emotions. <laughs> I thought that was very emo. It's very you. Very me. So I think I'm going to make something out of my all trip. Of this? Wow. Out of all four. I of think these. that's going to be so beautiful. And then whatever's left over from this one for my from for Michael Fox, I'll add to it. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Oh my god. So that's that's the whole trip. That's the whole trip. That's the whole trip in yarn. I can't believe that's like over cuz I feel like for the longest time we we're talking about I'm going to Alaska. Yep. And then I was the cat sitter too. So yes. you know like I had to know when. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. And now it's over. I know. It's it's over. So I went to Chicago while you were in Alaska. Yeah. And I lost it. I don't know what that means. But I got you a span of yarn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh really now yes i know i copied you it's over here right oh is that <gasps> i didn't know you got this in chicago yeah i got this in chicago because we were also wandering around lost mm-hmm. which i don't know why because one of us is supposed to know <laughs> Chicago. Just, just one of us one of, us, one of the people in my group <laughs> was supposed to allegedly know chicago but um i saw like this yarn store was like a block away it's called yarnify Okay, I've never been to that one. Yeah, and I walked in and like I was like boucle right away because mm-hmm. I've been seeing it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. I I never see it in person, you know, like or at least it hasn't been that big so far. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. And I saw this and I was like, I gotta get this. You yeah, know, this is you. You're green. You're purple. Oh, see, you like, do get me souvenirs yeah, from places. Your era of green, green, purple, purple, and blue. Yeah. A little bit of something. Man, I need Everything. to. I feel like that this wants to be a hat. Oh, I have not seen that. Yeah, boucle hat. I'm about it. I feel like this could be a boucle bucket hat. Fearless bucket hat. I can make another one of those. The Tory knit. Yes. 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 Smaller, so I could wear it. <laughs> yeah, smaller. Yeah. What I'll did you go up a size? I, mean, I don't know what I, I, I did. I think I did the first size. Yeah. I think I made the the hat part too, too long, long so it's kind of like flops over my face and i think i need to knit tighter even though i'm a tight knitter i think i need to knit tighter or maybe this is a thinner even though it's boucle yeah like it'll like fluff out yeah yeah oh well thank you you're welcome i'm excited to see this yeah me too very oh, very God. pretty color i knew very she was gonna pretty. get me something you know i had to try <laughs> <laughs> well thank you <laughs> very it's welcome. so soft yeah i know you don't like um What's the other one? Mohair. Yeah, I don't like yeah. mohair as much. Yeah. I've knit with it for the fearless um bucket hat, but yeah. it's like the hairs are too long. It always just gets in my nose. Yeah, yeah, it gets everywhere. Yeah, I can I can tell you having made some sweaters with it. Oh, sweaters! It's, it'll Ooh. be like, yeah, especially like the arms, like parts high friction areas. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It'll come out like like shed like my cat. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, is that all the hauls we had? That's everything we got, I think. All the acquisitions, not like we had, don't have enough. I know. <laughs> and we're literally surrounded by yarn. Yes. You can see the other side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do a studio tour one day. Yes. We could do a studio we tour one day. We have to do day. a studio tour. Yeah. Ask for a studio tour in the comments, and we'll do a studio tour. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the part we've all been waiting for. Yes. This is the Rhinebeck section, finally. Yeah. But we're doing it right back. Yes. Yes. So if everyone has not seen yet on our Instagram and on um, our individual Instagrams, we've been talking about the Rhinebeck Bengo with me, Tina Sainitz, and Between Two Skeins. So we came up with a Rhinebeck bingo board for people who are going to Rhinebeck mm-hmm. and those who are going to be playing from home so that everyone can join in. Yep. There's two ways. You don't have to be a Rhinebeck to play. And and there's like a lot of fun, even if you don't get the whole bingo, I think, which like, you know, as like a serial late to finisher, I guess I should call myself. Like, mm-hmm. I finished, but I'm late. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, I would, I would, I'd like to, if there was a giveaway that like, I got something for trying, 
I'd love that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, can we do that? And you were like, okay. yes, yes. <laughs> so even attempting the bingo gets you prizes. There's like, I think we we made it really fun. Yeah. I think you come up with good. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, games and ideas yes so. yes yes very interactive stuff mm -hmm. for those who are going to be at Rhinebeck yeah um and then some still fun and knitting crafting related stuff for people who are going to be playing along yeah. yeah so if you subscribe you already got a square it's that easy yep <laughs> subscribe to between two skeins our youtube channel and you, got you already got a square for both the at Rhinebeck and at home edition of right. the bingo and um so Here's how you can enter. Um, you have to submit um, by either tagging us on Instagram at between two skeins or emailing us uh, what you submit with at between two skeins at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. um, by the way you look at the bingo board, there are some boxes that are associated with photos. Mm -hmm. So you just have to submit those through either tagging us um, or emailing us. And you have until October uh, 31st, end of the month, um to submit everything so we give you some time after ryan beck i know it's gonna be a crazy time um to submit so no worries on trying to have to get those in right away and um we'll choose a winner and announce uh, a winner at our next episode of between two skates so you'll have to watch next episode to find out who wins yeah uh -huh. um and now what you win Yes. So. so the grand giveaway prize is a Between Two Skein sticker pack. So if you didn't know, Priya, no. well, Priyanka designed <laughs> some amazing stickers. We designed these together. Yeah, but it's mostly you. So this is from what you, you said. If you're if you're watched, some of these are things from our episodes. So like the mm, mm, cashmere. cashmere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's that's a sticker, and yes. then you know, of course, like we couldn't leave out Marino, Marino so because it was like an mm, Marino. Marino, um, and then a couple of others that are just you know things we say, like this one I think is so cute. It's two skeins like high fiving, and it says the fiber friends are the best friends. Yeah, <laughs> and it's Hard true. Agree. Yep. Um, and then another one is just for like our pod, you know, the little retro computer, it just says fiber friends out of your dreams. We hope it is. We hope it is. <laughs> it is for us. Yes. I think we have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah. It um, represents us very well. Yeah. The stickers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like them a lot. And I think so you'll win this in the giveaway, but we'll also be handing these out at Rhinebeck, you know. So just ask for one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just ask us for one. But uh for those playing from home, you can get that from the giveaway prize. That's right. We'll we'll share better pictures than like is yeah. a real yeah 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 there's a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. stickers out there um so yeah. that's one of the prizes yeah the next prize is some hand spun yarn oh. by priyanka okay i'll get mine out of the way so i i spun these two i love them they are so good together thank you this makes me think of like those like italian tile Ooh. things you know with like the blue and the white and the... yes yes so yes. like i think of this like that terrazzo whatever it's called effect mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and then this is just two fun greens that I had just decided to throw together because I thought it would be fun to see yes. them slide together. Yes. And I feel like it represents us. It's yeah. two, two skeins. So I haven't spun in a while, but I have this. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's also I've, for you I've knit with Priyanka's hand spun before and I love I love knitting with your hand spun. Thank so you. just That's saying true. it's definitely a good prize. Um <laughs> then you. So we have this very old school original Paradise Island project bag mm -hmm. that I've had since I want to say 2018. <laughs> I've had this for a very long time. It was supposed to be for another giveaway that I don't think I ever did or don't know what I did, but it's a good small to medium size it's really um, project bag. It's it has a zipper on the outside that you could put your notions in or a pencil or uh, pattern maybe i like that but, it stands out yeah so you could just plop it mm -hmm. and hold a shape yeah really one cute. of the og ones i don't think i've ever gotten a paradise fiber yeah bag but this looks really nice i yeah. like it it's i like the knit, knit. yeah sorry yeah. i probably hit the mic with it yeah so that's one of the other prizes and then this is the next one it's a project journal by kirby valenti designs and then more prizes to come 
Um, I'm working. Yes. There's a lot of people that are going to be at Will and Folk Festival that uh, are kindly donating some prizes for this giveaway as well from Who Made and the Water Clock. And yeah, so more prizes, this but is, this is going to be a big one. This is a big, big deal for the pod and yeah. for hopefully all of you guys who have been watching us to participate and yeah. be a part of this with us. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've had a good year doing this, having a lot of fun. Yeah. With it and share the thanks yeah. for you know coming along on this journey with us yeah i think we've learned a lot on the way and we've not let a lot of crazy stuff stop us yeah from being here like, life happens a lot there is a days. lot of stuff that yeah we yeah we up. both <laughs> have had to deal with yes but i think it just speaks to how much we enjoy doing this yeah and how mm-hmm. much fun we have talking mm-hmm. to you mm-hmm. and each mm-hmm. other yeah <laughs> and sharing all our things yeah and, hopefully inspiring everyone out there to make with us yeah yeah we'd love for you to join us with the texture garden yeah i mean i know it's a bit of a tight deadline but <laughs> ryan beck is in soon <laughs> it's in two weeks yep yeah yep. i don't even know i have not i have not thought about it enough <laughs> that's all I, I that's all i've been thinking about <laughs> I know. I, I feel like I have been. It's all I think about, but I still haven't thought about it enough. Cause, oh. Like I've been trying to ask people that have gone, you know, what it's like, yeah, yeah and yeah. like, you know, figure out like. But I, I think I've realized that the best course of action is to just kind of be like, "Where are you going, Tina?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me just follow you. Go, oh, there's something there. Oh, over there. <laughs> that's gonna be us. Yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah, thing. That, that's gonna be that us. yarn. Yeah. Oh, look, there's that person that we follow on Instagram. Yeah. Or that YouTuber that we saw there and what up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really excited to to yeah. meet a lot of makers that mm-hmm. I just know from the internet. Yeah. Like in person, it's gonna yep. be it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, please make sure to scream when you see her because like, <laughs> I like to tease her. About we should have made that a box. <laughs> scream when you see Tina. <laughs> that's a bonus. That's a that's secret a box. that's a secret bonus. Secret bingo. That's extra two points. Yeah. Oh. Um, you you get a pattern like on the spot. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, work we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. If you scream, we'll work something out. Uh, just say that we heard that from the pot is oh, extra bonus. Oh, scream for a sticker. Scream That's for a sticker. Maybe there you go. There you go. Scream for a sticker. <laughs> um, I think maybe we should talk about how the bingo works, I guess, in terms of how they yes. win. Yes. Um, so this is how the bingo board works um if you're not going to rhinebeck we have a home edition uh one box filled out equals one entry to the grand prizes that we just showed you um covering the entire board of the bingo board at rhinebeck will get you 20 entries plus a free tina saying it's pattern um and then covering all of the bingo board at home edition you'll get 10 entries plus a free pattern from tina saying it's so yeah so you still win still win you win um, for doing the bingo exactly um and then we could talk through some of the boxes yes so, uh, so obviously subscribe Big yeah one. done easy easy pretty much a free box <laughs> free square as i say yeah um leaving a comment on a between two skeins video gets you another box yeah. so again two things right off the bat just from watching this video just say hi say that you're coming say that you're joining anything just to give us a comment um what else we got i'll follow you on instagram or the making app that's an easy one yep yep so yeah there's a lot you can do mm-hmm. that, that makes this like easy and fun to kind of oh tino save projects uh whip i think that one's easy yep i was gonna say a great easy pattern to have finished that's another box would be like some of your hats yep your fresh Wave. start mm-hmm. wavelength hat yep sorry about the like, problem <laughs> sorry <laughs> um what else photo with a knit fit twin yeah so it doesn't have to be a tina say knit design as long as you find someone who's wearing the same design or pattern that you are wearing and just take a picture together yeah that's like our favorite thing to do yeah like, like... <laughs> <laughs> easy um wearing a tina say knits design again if you don't have one a hat yep wavelength hat will work pretty quickly that's um like a few hours yeah that's like three hours it's bulky weight so yeah. pretty quickly and it's fun because it has color work in it that's true yep uh selfie with me so this is uh you know the bonus where you can scream at me um <laughs> the bonus entry bonus point 
um and just take a picture of me if you're shy you can take a picture of priyanka you can take a picture with both of us you know i will always take a picture of <laughs> anyone i love to take pictures for you guys another fun one is meeting an online fiber friend in real life so mm-hmm. that's something that we're looking forward to yeah i've met a few myself well we met that way as well that's but, true uh i've met a few myself at rhinebeck but i can't wait to meet more people yeah people that i uh, i think i'll be seeing oh uh one way to find us as a as a little uh, something something is that we're having the asian makers meetup hosted by the wandering flock at the hill at rhinebeck at 11 a.m mm-hmm. um so we'll definitely be there because i love mean yeah geraldine you want to you want to you want to cover the bingo just come to that yeah that's pretty it. much yeah that's the bingo that's where you can find us <laughs> yes for sure you'll be wearing your rhinebeck outfit anyway and someone yeah. else is gonna have picked the same thing and you know your collaborators yeah. are there i think that's a square yep so like it's yeah we'd love to see you there i think i think mostly more than anything the thing is just a way for us to meet you guys mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. and hopefully make it less make it uh feel a little bit more approachable to us uh, because we are not gonna bite well i might but <laughs> it won't hurt <laughs> no it won't hurt it'll just be like a cat little yeah, it's a friendly little little, yeah. little, little bite yeah. um another easy one uh for rhinebeck is spotting a sheep alpaca or any fiber animal oh my god i can't wait <laughs> there are a lot of livestock at rhinebeck i kind of want to do the bingo i feel like it's cheating though i'm not gonna i mean i think you can <laughs> like without entering just do the bingo <laughs> you can't win your own prize <laughs> but you can still do the bingo uh, wouldn't that be crazy like we do the whole thing and it's like who won the giveaway priyanka <laughs> <laughs> oh that would be bad um and then so the rhinebeck version of the bingo has 12 boxes to fill out Mm -hmm. and the at home edition has six boxes to fill out um again from home you could still wear tina say knits design that's one of the boxes Mm -hmm. um having a tina say whip project whip also acceptable um great whip and the three easy ones are already subscribe to Between Two Skeins YouTube channel, mm-hmm. uh, leave a comment in one of our videos, and follow me on Instagram on the making app. So those are pretty much three free boxes right there. Yeah. Um, and then the last one is buying yarn from a Tina Say Knits collaborator. So I have a full list of all the collaborators I've ever uh, had on my website mm-hmm. on the About Me page. Yeah. So you can find a list of everyone there. And yeah. Shop from them. Yeah. Support them. Support all the small businesses and yarn creators fiber creators but um yeah, yeah. they make the the crayons for our you know uh art yes so yeah yeah um so that's i think that covers all the bingo stuff that's the bingo yep so we'll be at wool and folk festival on friday october 19th and no october 20th take that back and then we'll be at uh, New York Sheep and Wool Festival on Saturday, October 21st. So we'll be there both days. And if anyone's doing the Wool and Folk Festival warm-up event on Thursday night, we'll be there as well. Mm-hmm. And we'll hope to see you guys there. And if anyone's taking the Rhinebeck bus from String Thing Studio, we'll see you on the bus. Um, but let us know in the comments. Uh, we'll really like to know who's coming and who's been watching this and who's been um supporting us this whole time yeah yeah <laughs> you mystery people <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, it's a two-way street a relationship like this i hope yeah um, yeah i mean i think we like having this like uh as a sort of project diary right it's yeah fun to sort of look back on the year and see also and i like seeing what other people made too yeah. this way yeah. so I've heard some people get inspired by our videos to make the things. Oh, so that's, that's so cool. kind of fun. Yep. I, I mean, I'd love that. If mm-hmm. you do, I mean, please tag us. Yeah. I'd love to see anything you've made from, you know, what we've done. Because, like, that's my favorite thing to do is have, like, the same, but different. I've said that, like, four times. The same, same character, different same font. Same character, different font. I wanted to it's so true. That. It's so true. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I think that's. It's, a... it, would be, it feels like a big knit along, like an informal knit along when people. Yeah are inspired by what we're making and make some want to make something so yeah yeah and we're gonna do one of those too yes and then along yeah yeah that'll be fun 2024 yeah yeah
first of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And we'll see you again in our next episode, which is going to be a big one too, because that'll be Ryan Beck. Beck. Yeah. That'll be the Ryan Beck hangover episode. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's going to be so much that we'll have to document. Yeah. Everything we saw is so we remember to tell you guys how it went. Yeah. My yeah. first Ryan Beck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This is so fun. Our first Ryan Beck together. Yes. It's going to be fun. I've been trying to get you to go with me for like four years. I know. Now. I know. It has <laughs> definitely been four years. Minus one for, or two well, for COVID. COVID. Yeah. So really but. like two years. It's okay. <laughs> I can chase you for a couple more years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching today so far and joining us on this uh, journey in this podcast so far. I mean, I finally had a finished object today. <laughs> <laughs> you only so, skip one episode. I only skip one episode. I'm finally knitting again. So it feels really good to have like a place to share it with you. Yeah. <laughs> and with every one of you as well. Yes. So thanks for being here. Yeah. We'll um, see you guys at Rhinebeck, hopefully. Or, or joining the bingo board from home. Yeah. So we'll see you at Rhinebeck or after Rhinebeck. So we will see you. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can find us on at between two skeins on instagram you can follow me on tina.say.knits on instagram and the making app and i'm pizza very like pizza and then v-e-r-i i gotta find some that's like fun. this one yeah pizza very it makes sense yeah. for people who know you got you just yeah if you know you know if you know you know yeah pizza <laughs> yep <laughs> all, all right. right all right well okay bye, bye.